Hello, everybody. Welcome to another uh, Velma K. Waters Library webinar. Today, I am joined by two representatives from Jove, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, everyone. My name is Molly McDaniel. I'm the library town um, sales representative for Texanum Commerce, and I'm joined here with my colleague, Sneakti, that is um, part of our customer success team that is built to help support you. Yep. Yeah, as, as Molly mentioned, this is Suniti, the curriculum specialist, uh, a, a curriculum specialist in the faculty support team, and here to help you like find the video resources that suit your curriculum and also show how to use them uh, in your D2L Brightspace. Thank you both so much for joining us today. And I forgot to introduce myself. I'm A.P. Anderson, research and instruction librarian. All right, I'll uh, hand this over to you all. Thank you so much. Um, so now Suniti will um, share her screen and kind of walk us through what Joe could look like within your course. Yes, all right. So uh, here I am sharing my screen. Um, this is the Joe website where all the resources are published. So we need to go in here and then have a look at the different kinds of resources that we have. So basically an introduction for Joe is that we are a video resource platform and we have STEM video resources that can help in research work and help in your to supplement your education courses. Uh, with 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 a uh, touch of visualization, and we have over 80, 18,000 videos on our website. Um, all of this is under your subscription, as in uh, there is unlimited subs uh, subscription at your university. So you're free to choose, uh, free to navigate into the research section. This is a peer-reviewed journal, and on the right hand side, there is education. These resources are more useful from a teaching perspective. So first, I'll take you through the various kind of content that we have on our website. And in the second half, I'll show you how to actually use these video resources um, inside your D2L. The benefit of uh, using or embedding the videos that you like inside your D2L is that your students don't have to come to the website, create Jove account, and then access the content. They can directly go to your D2L, study from, this, from the same platform, and, and that would be it. So first coming to how as a professor, you can start getting, uh, you can get started with using Joe. The first thing is that when you come to the website, you'll have to create your free Joe account with your, uni with your university email ID. Personal email IDs wouldn't work. So please use your institute's ID, uh, sign up for your account. And then after that, you should be able to log in into Joe. Doing so, all the videos on the website will open in full length for you, and then you can access and review the resources that you'd want to uh, use and share it with your students. So now coming first uh, to the education section, we have a, a broad variety of video resources ranging from biology, chemistry, statistics, uh, environment science, physics, engineering, psychology, clinical skills, or we also call it as nursing uh, collection, and pharmacology, which is one of our latest collections. So let me take you through uh, the different kinds of product, the different kinds of video resources that we have in these categories so that you can find the resources that is, that is more apt uh, for your course. So coming to, first, uh, coming to the first one, that is biology. Uh, first is uh, our video textbook that we have uh, carefully curated so that it's easier for faculty members to find content in a chapter-wise fashion. That is usually the format for our textbooks. So here is our video textbook where you see videos neatly arranged in a chapter-wise format, making it easier to navigate and find through content. So you can skim through and if you like any chapter that you will be teaching, potentially, let's say immune systems, you can open it up and then review the content that we have. What you're looking at right now is, is just thumbnails. So we can open any one video to actually look at the wholesome content that, that we can provide. We provide a video in full length um, inside the core collection. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to see your video first. These videos will range between two to four minutes in length. They'll be short, they'll be crisp, they'll be uh, with a high-end animation and also a voiceover, as like so. And uh, so students and yourself as a faculty member, you can change the subtitles of the video and the audio of the video in some of the languages that we offer. 
This is done so that it helps multinational students uh, understand the concepts in a much better way. In addition to the video, we also provide uh, some additional text further for reading so that uh, the content is wholesome and students know what to refer to as an additional uh, reading material. So, so this is more or less the format for most of the videos on the website. Uh, pertaining to core, the videos will be shorter for about two to four minutes in length. So here I am uh, looking at a chapter from Spore Biology. Similarly, inside biology, you'll be able to see uh, videos arranged in similar fashion for molecular biology. As you can see here, the chapters are here. Then we have cell biology. And we have a lot of content freshly added into cell biology. And uh, lastly, anatomy and physiology. This is one of our latest collections released early this year. And we are expanding on this. And yeah, the videos are going to be two to four minutes in all the core collections that we have. So this was the first part that I uh, wanted to show uh, the kind of videos. This is core. In addition to that, let's say if you are a faculty member teaching lab courses, then the lab manual will be most useful for you. Here we have the setup ready for a professor or a to, to conduct a particular experiment. Right now, these are the videos that we offer broadly under genetics, cellular processes, ecology, evolution, and the basic fundamentals and biology. You can skim through the video resources you like. Now, let's say I like a video. Uh, I am going to teach this particular topic of cell cellular respiration. You can go ahead, open this particular video, and you will see that in under lab, we have each video, uh, Basically, we have three different kinds of videos for teaching a particular topic. Uh, the first one is instructor prep. So if you are setting up the lab and you would want to know how, what are the reagents involved? What are the steps to be taken in order to set up this lab? Here is what you'd need to use. That is the instructor prep video. There's a video instruction here. And in, in addition to that, there's also a text below the video with the aims of the, with the aim of the experiment, the objectives and how uh, it's it's meant to be covered in this experiment and list of materials in a printable format uh, useful for uh, the, the lab staff in order to quickly set up any particular experiment. Then the second part of it will be the actual concept. So if we say cellular respiration, what is actually happening on a cellular level? How are the cells respiring or like exchanging gases? All of those will be explained in a high-end animated format with subtitle support with language support and uh, will again range somewhere between uh, two to seven minutes in length. And yeah, this, this is the conceptual part. Lastly, we also provide support to students as to how they can uh, enhance their skills in the lab and how to, uh, and, and what are the do's and don'ts so that the reproducibility of the experiment is higher. So they can also, so for that so purpose, we have a student protocol video out here. That, that can be accessed. And uh, we also have the procedure of this particular experiment out here. So um, all of this can be accessed and you are free to share the content that you find most relevant uh, with your students. So just to give you a glimpse of this, uh, here is the lab manual again. And here we have uh, topics. Uh, we have the videos arranged in a topic-wise format um, like so. Now, the third category of videos that we have is, uh, we call it as a science education collection, where we have video protocols uh, of very basic experiments, very useful for undergrad, for beginners who are getting started off uh, with experimentation, with understanding the concepts behind experiments. So, right, so firstly, I'll go into a basic biology. As you can see, the content is something that will be helpful uh, for students who are just getting started off with lab, who need to understand or who need to refine their basics, this section is going to be highly useful for them. Now, coming to uh, what is different in this section, they'll ha we'll have the video protocols here covered in further depth. So these videos will be about 7 to 12 minutes in length. And in, in a similar fashion, this is going to be... Uh, shot mostly in the lab so that there is really uh, there is like a relatability to the students of how to perform this experiment when they are in a lab setup 
uh, in addition to this, we also provide the language support that is uh, that's usually provided in most job videos so that uh, we can also support the multinational students to understand better. So uh, this is the video. And in, in addition to this, there's also going to be an in-depth explanation of the video with some more uh, uh, with some more examples, with some more explanation. And uh, if need be, you can either have the video placed inside your uh, D2L or you, we can have the video as well as the text that follows below the video. Uh, so it depends on how you would want to use it inside of your Brightspace. We provide flexibility for both. So uh, this was the basic collection. Um, as, as the course progresses, you would want something very advanced, uh, advanced techniques to be covered. So here is a section that you can access uh, that is under advanced biology, science education. So let's say if there is a concept being taught in microbiology, all the topics that pertain to this are in here. So that is easier for you to find uh, content. So content-wise, we have segregated things in here and uh, is, is open to your access. Now, so, so this was the first, uh, so in addition to this uh, bio, so uh, basically these were the different kinds of video collections that we have. Now, similarly, you'll find these, uh, you'll find science education videos, you'll find core videos, you'll find lab manual videos in various other collections uh, in this list. So we went through, we, uh, yeah, I walked you through biology. Now let me walk you through chemistry. So in chemistry also, we have videos, we have core that we just saw where you will find videos in a chapter wise format. We also have lab manuals, which is uh, created for keeping lab experiments in focus. And in general, for general concepts, we have the science education collection that you can access. Uh, we've just added analytical chemistry about last week. And uh, this is uh, in addition to the basic core chemistry uh, chemistry courses, analytical chemistry is the one that focuses on various techniques in depth, like um, NMR. And uh, we also have scientists in action videos highlighted here at various places. Basically, all core collections will have scientists in action videos. I'll take you through what I mean by that. And uh, yeah, in a similar fashion, the videos will be in uh, two to four minute length and uh, can be accessed. Yeah. So this is a particular chapter that I've opened for presentation titration. And these are all the video resources that suit this particular topic. So we save you time from navigating into various collections. You can simply go into the chapter that you like. And you'll be able to see all the videos in here that we can uh, possibly support you with. In addition to this, uh, inside code collections, we also have scientists in action. So here are the videos where the where these particular concepts are being actually applied in real life setup. So this is something also that that you can access to. And uh, if you'd like to uh, guide some students for their research work thesis, or if you are a PI then these videos can surely be helpful uh, to share with your students for more information. So in addition to biology, uh, chemistry, we also have statistics. Under statistics, right now we are building upon it. So we just have the core collection where you'll see, uh, since it is core, you'll be able to see videos or everything in a chapter wise format. Um, the next thing is environment science. Here, we only have the science education collection. Uh, so you'll be able to find the basic video protocols that, uh, that, that can be used. Um, then we have physics. We are building on more content in physics. Right now, we have core physics, the chapter-wise uh, collection, uh, and then science education out here. Uh, next is going to be engineering, where we have uh, content in science education and uh, one of our latest releases is mechanical engineering where we have focused on a particular wing of engineering that is mechanical engineering and we are trying to go in depth um, offering support for various topics in mechanical engineering and in the pipeline in the near future we are also going to release something very specific to electrical engineering. 
uh, in addition to this under psychology currently we have core psychology and we have science education then we have a clinical collection we also call it as a nursing collection where we have the techniques to actually use in the lab for analysis uh, we have core nursing over here which is again going to have chapter wise uh, segregation this is also one of our latest collections you very useful for introductory courses and um, and then we also have anatomy and physiology and pharmacology we have also put it into a separate section out here pharmacology yes yeah here in pharmacology we have uh, animations that that help to under, to explain the fundamental concepts with regard to entirely a pharma base that is how is the drug going to react in the body the drug effects classification and so on so in depth if you would like to uh, give, uh, have a glance to content in pharma or uh, pharmacokinetics or anything related to uh, pharma so then this is going to be the section that will be most useful so this is the entire catalog where we have our video resources in here so based on your teaching stream after you create your account you can go into education section and browse through the content uh, that you like from here now coming to how to actually use this uh, the content that you like so that your students can very easily have access to the content without having to come to the website so all you need to do is you need to open the video that uh, you'll be teaching that that's something that can be useful to supplement what you teach so after you open the video you like all you need to do is click on embed video this is a button specially provided to faculty members so that they can uh, set the videos inside their courses uh, very easily after you click on embed button you need to click on copy embed code this code should turn green which gives you which permits you access to now place it inside your d2l bright space i am into a demo course folder so as a faculty member you can go into the folder where you are teaching a particular topic and then uh, after that uh, you need to click on create new html document for now for the demo purpose uh, for the file title i'm going to just simply add joe video this file title can be something uh, to what the to, uh, to what the video is about so you can put that name in here and then after that to place the code please do not directly paste it on this please click on this small button out here uh, you need to delete the code that the code that is existing in this space you need to hit save and that's it so now the video will be placed inside your uh, uh, bright space d2l uh, and let's save it. So now going forward, if uh, we'd want to access this particular video, all we need to do is go to your bright space and open the video in full length from there. And then the video, yeah, and then the video can be accessed directly from the bright space. Uh, let me try to save it again. Yes. So now the video is placed here. You can move it uh, the way you like it to be. And then this is the video out here. The video can play in full length right from your Brightspace D2L. Uh, as I was mentioning, without having to go to the website, there's going to be the language support here as well intact. And all of, the, all of these features will stay uh, inside your Brightspace. And uh, you can also control what happens to these videos inside your uh, LMS. That is, if you want to hide it from your students till a particular course date or a particular week, you can publish, unpublish the videos, move, change the order of the videos in the way that you like it. So this is the first way to embed the videos that you like uh, inside your Pride Space. Uh, the second thing would be that we have, the second thing that will be useful for faculty is our faculty resource center. On the top in red, you'll be able to see this um what we have done here is um, understanding faculty course names we have uh, created small um, we have created 
I would rather say a course wise uh, playlist. Playlist is essentially a group of videos that pertains to a particular topic. So let's say if if you're teaching something in microbiology, then this code, then this playlist, as in a list of videos uh, that already pertains to microbiology can be uh, useful for you. So you can simply go in here, skim through the videos that we have uh, under these labels. So that is easier for you to find content and the videos you like can be opened and embedded inside your Brightspace. Uh, so we have a lot of content, uh, a lot of course specific playlists out here for, for your access. And uh, please feel free to use it and set the videos um, as per your needs in your Brightspace. In addition to this, um, let me take you to some other collections. So similarly to biology, is, uh, yeah, similar to biology, we have chemistry, engineering, clinical science, environment, and so on. And we are expanding to add uh, many more playlists so that it's is easier for you to use. Now, uh, as now the benefit of uh, so what you can also do is you can embed multiple videos at once inside your Brightspace so that you don't have to pick and choose copy codes one by one for each particular uh, topic. Uh, what I mean by that is, let's say uh, as a faculty member, you would want to, uh, you're going to be teaching structural engineering and, there, and you like all of these videos or most of these videos and, and it can be used in your um, in your course and your students get benefit from all you need to do is click on download cc this button is exclusively for faculty members only you simply have to click on download cc it's already compatible with your pride space after that uh, all you need to do is go back to your course folder where you are teaching click on import export components scroll down to import components and simply upload the file out here. Now what this file does is earlier that I did copy the code and pasting, the file is doing it, uh, the file is doing gonna do it for the faculty member and it's going to selectively place only the videos from this particular playlist inside the Brightspace so that uh, multiple videos can be set up at once in just a few clicks uh, inside Brightspace. Again, to access these videos, there's no, uh, after the videos are properly set up in the account, um, faculty members can directly access the videos from the Brightspace itself uh, without having to go to the website. So yeah, so, so this is something that, so the ready to use playlists are out here in the faculty resource center to use out here. Um, lastly, we also have textbooks. So if uh, we are also supporting uh, we are also extending support to teach as per various textbooks. Um, for example, for instance, uh, these are all our textbooks. There's biology, there's chemistry, there's nursing, clinical. This is the chemistry one, physics, neuroscience, and so on. So that if you are referring to any particular textbook to teach a particular semester, please look it up here. And if you are able to find it, uh, you'll be uh, you you'd notice that uh, let's say for this particular textbook you'd notice that if this is the textbook that you refer to you'd notice that all the chapters in here are as per the table of content or as per the index of this particular book so then it's easier for you to find content to relate to content and easily adopt it inside your course so uh, for this particular topic, for this particular book in microbiology, if you're teaching chapter number six in this in a in a semester, or you can simply open the book, go to chapter number six, and you'll be able to see all the videos in here that support that topic. So feel free to use the the uh, feel free to like uh, review the videos in our textbooks. Uh, and if you find the textbook that you teach in here, please feel free to open it up and adopt the content accordingly so that uh, it, it saves you time and also helps you set up your course really quick. Um, so while I was showing this to you, the file is now uploaded and yeah. So we use, we were uh, uh, embedding this particular playlist. Now you'll be able to see that all the videos that were in the playlist are in here. 
because we use the file, the 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 video title is come up directly as what it was on the Joe website. The video is in here in full length. And in, in addition to that, there's also text that was below the, the, the video on the Joe website. And now that is inside your Brightspace as well. So the equations, the tables, any diagrams and all that follows below the video on the site will also follow in your Brightspace. So this is option two. Uh, with which you can set up the videos in your um, course folder that you teach and, uh, and and you can choose the best way possible to share the content with your students. So uh, that was an overview of the kind of content that we have and how to uh, embed the videos in your Brightspace. Yeah, uh, I think that's about it for the demo for the website and uh, Brightspace. Um, over to you, Molly, and then we can open up to questions. Hi everyone, as Cynthia mentioned, I will kind of walk you through um, what we can do in terms of the um, library resources. So let me get my screen to share for you. Just for the librarian side, I was just gonna show you quickly that in the case you have any questions of what we have to offer for you, you can just go into resources and similar to the faculty side, you'll be able to see any type of webinars or any situations like that. But I just kind of wanted yet again to highlight that faculty resource center um, because it is kind of a quintessential piece to the offering that you have because it will yet again, we have all the videos mapped. So you don't have to think about, say you are using yet again, like a publisher book. You can go through here and see Maybe I need a couple more resources, maybe what the publisher is offering, that maybe the PowerPoints aren't enough for my students. Um, you can come through here and get some just additional resources to assign. Um, just going to point that out. And then um, show you everything there. Just yet again, some resources telling you how to teach with Joe, how to create a playlist, virtual meeting, all that information. And so all messed up is good. Um, but that's kind of all I had was to show you this faculty resource side. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I appreciate Dr. Graham for joining us today. And um, we're grateful for the partnership with Texas A&M Commerce. And we're here to help you help support everybody every step of the way. So in the case you have any questions, um, we're here to help.